Back in January, I attended the Western and English Sales Association trade show in Dallas, where brands show new styles to retailers. I visited the Fanolio Boots booth with folks from cartersboots.com, and I got to see the new Cookies and Cream Fanolio Elephant Boot designed by Fanolio salesman Brad Tucker. Cartersboots.com ordered some to stock in their store and they just arrived there a couple of weeks ago. And I got my hands on some here for a quick impression review. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and always like and comment down below. I love seeing your guys' thoughts about the boots that I cover here on this channel. I'm really excited to take a closer look at this Fenolio Cookies and Cream Elephant Boot. It's a very unique color that you don't see very often. And at Wessa, I was very excited to see this and even more excited that cartersboots.com ordered some to stock in their store, both the one that they have in Bozeman and the one that they have online. And remember that you guys can always save 10% on your orders at cartersboots.com when you use my code Jeremiah Craig at checkout. Now that I have this cookies and cream Fenolio boot in hand, I think it's time to break down the details of it with the rundown. Yes, we're looking at another Fenolio boot today, and this one features elephant leather on the foot and the counter. And the color is a unique cookies and cream color where it's black in the raised parts and sort of white where those wrinkles get deep on the elephant, and it's a very unique look. This boot also features a narrow square toe, also known as a cutter toe. It comes in at 12 inches tall with a black cowhide leather top. Down here for a heel, we have a one and a half inch stacked leather heel and it looks great. It's also got a pretty good spur shelf there as well. And for an outsole, we have a leather outsole and it's on there with a Goodyear welt. You can also see those brass nails and lemon wood pegs alongside the shank there as well. On the inside, it's lined with cowhide leather all the way through, even around the foot, super soft. And for an insole, it's a soft leather insole, so you have a little bit of foam under there, and that's topped with a soft piece of leather. Fenolio boots are made in the USA, and this boot is coming in at $550 over at cartersboots.com. But when you use my code Jeremiah Craig to save 10%, that brings the price down to around $495. Now, let's try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got on those Fenolio Cookies and Cream boots right now. Man, I can't get enough of that name. Cookies and Cream for a color on this boot is perfect. And that's what comes to mind when I'm looking at this elephant leather and the unique coloring that it has. Cookies and Cream tells the whole story. Gotta love it. I really like the feel of Fenolios, but I gotta say that I think that they run just a little bit snug. So I have a pair of Fenolios that are a 12B. Uh, Carter's didn't have a 12B in this for me to try, but they can get you B widths and they won't upcharge you for the special orders. You'll have to wait a little bit uh, for you to get them. But just so you know, if you do go that route that I feel like they run a little bit snug. So if you're in between sizes, you might want to size up a half a size, um, especially with elephant leather, guys. If you get a really snug elephant leather boot, it's gonna be a pain to break in. It is tough stuff, even during the break-in process. So um, maybe just to be safe, you might want to size up a half a size from your usual size, because these are running a bit snug for an 11D. Let me pull over those pants so you can see what they'd look like without, you know, just running, wearing regular. There we go, there we go. I really like the toe shape of this cutter toe. It's uh, kind of trendy right now. It's sort of overtaking the wide square toe with a double stitch. Well, this is becoming a little bit more popular and time will tell if it stays a little bit more popular. And 
I'm thankful for it. I like it being a skinny guy myself. I feel like these types of square toes go much better with my body type than the wide square toe. Isn't that crazy contrast between the dark sections of the leather and the light sections of the leather? What do you guys think about that? Because I feel like this is a color that you'll either really love or really hate. I'm on team really love this color. Yes, I'm a big fan of this color and I want to know if you guys are down in the comments. You know, it's so unique, this black and white or bone colored mixture here. Cookies and Cream is the perfect name for it and the elephant leather is one of the toughest leathers going, especially for cowboy boots. But I mean, they're at a price now where they're going to be dress boots most of the time, especially when you get a color like this. And you know, with them being dress boots most likely, I can't help but notice the finishing here. You know, that's been one of my criticisms of Fenolio boots in the past is that, you know, I've gotten boots where the welt is just sort of hastily cut and it just didn't look that great. Every Fenolio that I've tried after that, it looks like they've really cleaned up this finishing and this boot shows it 100%. I love the attention to detail and how they finished this welt and the heel. It just looks great. One of the things that sort of does, you know, give me just a little bit of cringe is that there's a color difference between the foot and the counter. I'm sure you guys noticed during the rundown and you're like, is that just the lighting? Is that the camera? No, it is a different shade. And that could be because it's from a different part of the elephant leather that just took the tanning differently or it's from a different hide altogether and you know different hides take the tanning process a little differently so i would just have liked to see a little bit more matching here but you guys probably saw here when i was trying on the boots when you're wearing them and you got the pants over top of the boots you hardly even notice the color difference depending on how ocd you are it might bother you a little bit more or you might not even care but i want to know your thoughts down in the comments i'm going to be sending these back to cartersboots.com they were kind enough to send them to me for the purposes of this video and maybe someday I'll be able to get my own pair in a 12B. We'll see what happens. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Ooh, have you seen what I see? What's Cookies and cream. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out more about the quality of the Pinoleos and this extended test for people. Oh, I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.